It's not me, it's my edges, it's my daddy, it's my mama, it's my jeans, it's my La sisi on gene up ne booby back So chill imagine it don't chill like Hello honeys, it's yours and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a very candid gateway with me. I'm literally like chatting as if you're literally in my lounge. So welcome to my lounge and welcome to my gateway with me, which we haven't done in a while. Let's catch up. We're talking about everything, anything you can think of. And of course, this gorgeous hair, which is currently on sale. I see hair has got a summer sale and I decided because I'm wearing this hair so much, I might as well show you guys and link everything in the bio. So I am absolutely loving it. Don't worry about how I look in the beginning, honey. I look a little questionable, but it's all good. <laughs> I do hope you guys do enjoy this video. It's been a while. I missed you guys. So that's probably why I am ranting so much in this video. But do enjoy it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hey there. <laughs> it's y'all's channel. I hope y'all are well. Me, I'm just in a mood. Um, I think it's a good mood. My spirits are a little bit up uh, of late because... Your girl been going to jean. <laughs> okay, these brows look a little like they look different. I do have naturally, you know, dark brows. It's just so funny now that I have to. I feel like I have to explain myself because, yo, know, the internet. Our internet sisters are saying dark brows are not it. No, I do have naturally dark brows. So then, what do you do? How do I lighten my dark hairs? Whoa, maybe that's actually a thing. Maybe I could. I never also do my brows on camera. Like I hardly ever. But guess this lapa. Huh? The camera was on when I started. I was being silly and I was just like, okay, sharp. We'll see if we include this footage there. It's not bad, me. I don't think it's bad, guys, is it? It's, it's not that bad, right? Let's do the eyes quickly and get that out of the way. In 30 minutes, I don't talk in real life, Gangaka. But switch on the camera, oh sisters. Yo. Hey. Mm -mm. We are taint, hey. Oh, I discovered these brushes. My makeup artist vamped me uh, by Dumi. She is my makeup artist, right? <laughs> did I get concealer on my forehead? Yes, I did. And she has her own uh, cosmetics line. <laughs> you guys. These brushes are amazing. So she gifted me with these a few months ago. I didn't try them for so long until I was testing out a foundation and I tried them out. This is the foundation I was testing out. By the way, I was testing out Tish Beauty Foundation. Ew. Auto focus and Bulala today. It's a good day. Yeah, no, it looks like I'm already going in with foundation. This is right here, girl. Girl, I'm mixing two colors and I feel like it's just too red. Is it just me? <laughs> I love how foundation shocks you uh, once it starts blending or, or oxidizing or just blending out that drinking in my skin tones. Now it's booze by I your lady. Yes, it's own thing. So I haven't done my eyes yet, and I usually do my eyes first. But I just found myself um, applying this foundation that I just showed you to buy Tish Beauty. It's a black-owned South African brand. Okay, I look scary right now. And that is that on skin. <laughs> Wowzers. This foundation is it. If you ever wondered, there you go. And that's that on that. <laughs> okay, y'all. So what do we do? My eyes. Let's keep the eyes natural. Okay, I just went very dark and just said natural. Um, let's see where this goes. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. We'll get somewhere. Today, I just wanted to really come on here and chill and chat while I do my makeup. I have been in such a better space. I think this is the year where you've been through some of the roller coasters of my life. And I think I'm finally becoming <laughs> more stable in, you know, my being and a little bit more comfortable. It's so weird that it took five years of being on YouTube. Has it been five years? 2016? Yeah, it's been five years. Um, then it took a whole five years for me to really get into 
being like fully me without any filters without any like restraint what i think i say even though we really still need to filter what we think because this is still the internet you know what i'm saying it's still the internet <laughs> um but i'm comfortable like i'm at a space where the free man the free Gle channel the like the moment on the but okay we also is here and i'm comfortable with that i'm comfortable with who i am and it's taken a long time and i think for the first time i can safely say it hasn't been influenced by human beings maybe one maybe my dad i think the death of my dad has a lot to do with it but i also think like i said in one of my other videos that you know heading towards 30 i am really just becoming poof you know we, we evolve as people we change and it, sometimes it takes tragic events traumas to shift us or should i say reposition us into being uh our, our true authentic selves i don't know and yes is it true i mean i'm not trying to be deep or anything but damn this is cute this is cute you guys know i love to keep it simple oh by the way i'm wearing my dad jersey i look like a dad like someone's dad because men's jerseys are warmer point blank and you buy them once tina we, we buy cheap things and then we repurchase you know what i mean actually no 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 it's not us it's retailers they know how to get us back to those shops that is why they end up uh you know giving us very crap quality clothing man of late i suppose i've just like i said i'm becoming i've just let loose a little bit uh less caring about what people really think um and enjoying solitude oh i've never enjoyed my daughter so much i found myself the other day in the office with a bunch of people we had our it guy we had um three of our team members in the my office just my office alone which usually i'm alone right my mela i was depleted the energy i came home right after everyone left and i said to my husband like i can't believe that social y'alls bubbly y'alls friendly y'alls just wanted everyone to leave at some point because everyone was vying for my attention everyone needed things to be approved checked triple checked i just felt like my energy was being depleted by human beings and i'm that person who's like yo I, i'm such a people pleaser but the person in me just couldn't anymore i mean i didn't necessarily say to them hey i'm buying gogo i did it one by one but okay same feeling i will go no you can actually take the day the rest of the day off or you can leave now you know to avoid traffic i was that person because i just knew but the aziva man i'm actually being physically drained it's so important to be so in tune with yourself that you're aware of that because what would normally happen is then I end up just giving, giving, giving more than what I already have. So do what? Go minus, ne? And then I get home and basically I crap on everyone else around the house, like my family, which is just my two boys, my husband and my son, you know, who don't deserve to get the remains of yours because the energy, and what they're getting is the second hand effects of, you know, I look so scary. Why do I look so scary? Let me darken this thing. Yeah, that looks more like me. I mean, I'm still a bit scary, but it's fine. It's makeup. Just not that scary. We don't look, you know? I say this to say, but I think I'm finally at a point where self awareness is uh, what drives y'alls nowadays. And I'm not mad at that. Being more. Uh, real with myself like how do you really feel y'all because at that moment i truly truly felt you know i think i this thing i truly really felt like i just don't want anyone else in my presence right now and can everyone go home and then obviously approach is everything i had to really approach it in, in the most tactful manner and not make them feel like they are encroaching my space and even though that's how i felt I, I i said it in a nice way like one by one but okay when i guess it's to be in gawe i'm like you know go cheers bye and and then the it guy oh how long will this take <laughs> how much longer i don't want to keep you At that time i'm just like i'm trying to keep my sanity good <laughs> bro um as soon as you are done please <laughs> without saying that you know and 
um it also helped me realize well you can be a good person I'm sorry that i look so scary i'm still a good person um without people pleasing too much you don't need to people please to a point where you lose yourself and i almost lost myself definitely um in my life and I, it's so weird that it took such a hectic event my dad dying for me to realize all these other things were they are just as important and, and they are a great need it took me really needing my own space me really needing um my my own sanity so desperately for me to know that detox babes you know <laughs> declutter with friendships and get rid of this and that in your home that you don't need um surround yourself with energy that you do want but then when you're tired of that energy also be able to to decrease a bit of it like you know um you need to set the tone in your home but also in your mind in your space your atmosphere set the tone and make sure that love volume that you like is always there the, with the things that you can control of course there are other things that you just can't but things that i can control oh girl <laughs> i have been taking control in that regard and i also realized Uti, it is a choice to you know how we respond is a choice and if you are always responding because of the in the way that you think people want you to respond hi okay, babes you are people please ask is for me, I've, I've now decided, let me respond in the way that I want to, just change the approach uh, and tune it in the way that it would sit better with the other person in, in a way, like in a sensitive way. I want Delivery is so important. Um, you need to package things in a manner that you know by Isofia, actually. And even if it brings an argument, at least your delivery was safe. I've always thought of myself as being very tactful, but no, there's a difference. <laughs> I wasn't being tactful, I was pleasing people. Mm. And you, I don't know if you guys know this already, but I am becoming a blush lover forever. Like, I don't know where I was, who, who, so don't be surprised, my bonnie blush. The brand that sent me this wig has got a massive sale, I think the... Yeah, I'll just double check if this one is also on sale, but yeah, it's such a nice wig. I'm gonna share it with y'all. Um, I've been wearing wigs these days because I'm growing back my hair. I am growing back my hair. It's very short right now. And don't judge a book by its cover. This is how it looks right now. When it's being slayed. <laughs> so this summer i'm gonna be sharing off my baudi okay brace yourselves all my conservative girls out there uh, you know, i don't know if, if, if you want to stick around like obviously i won't show like hey explicit but if you were at the beach with me that's what you would see so why don't i embrace my body i did a video a couple of months ago i think it was december if not november last year and it was such a touching video i'll just show you a little bit you can check it out like the words it's got a voice over but the song might be copywritten so i don't want to have a copyright strike so i'll add the video right here but basically in this video i'm telling my body that i'm actually apologizing to my body and saying that i'm sorry i never loved her the way she deserves to be loved and i just I wish I loved her the way she deserves to and right now I choose to love her the way she is just because we don't celebrate our bodies um, when we feel they're not where they should be it's almost like a postponed love that never really happens because are we ever really happy with our bodies are we ever going to be and now that I'm losing the weight and now even during the process I am taking so many photos and I'm telling my body I love it the way it is. Oh, by the way, I'm opening this. This just came in the mail today from Revlon and it's a bunch of a lot of lipsticks actually. How many? I really hope that you're as good as you look. Let's try you. Oh, oh damn, oh damn. Oh, she looks good. The only thing about matte is especially in winter, they make us look hungry. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this dark one. Just a bit. Mmm, I don't wanna look so hungry. Yes. And this is our first attempt. I am using the Esther K, K Body Rose Face Mist. This is from Esther K. I received it in the mail about two weeks ago. 
and is it two weeks it could be three weeks it's actually been a long time a longer time than what it should usually take me to try a few products but your girl has been busy so i was saying that you definitely brace yourself for december well this year and also to december who december because my body is going <laughs> i am going to be flashing i am warning you guys i am warning you in advance well in advance if you don't like seeing women celebrating their bodies in bikinis of course it won't be like hectic explicit and conservative by nature but it's time i tell my body and show my body how much i love it by taking those photos and should i feel the need to share it publicly i shall the unwarnish and your cow find yourself in these platforms like instagram and uh tiktok those are probably the platforms i'll share it on if you're not loving your body the way you should be that doesn't mean exercise it just means loving it the way it deserves to and everybody every single body type deserves to be loved in its own special way if you're not loving your body right now and you ain't gonna be loving in 2021 summer time then i does you'll see us loving our bodies and we'll go to you summer wow summer wow this is a bonnet pump peel anyway let me go put on my hair and show you guys and do the outro and do all of that do i look cute do i look cute oh by the way there's no highlighter i don't put highlighter anymore you happy me happy me grand there you go there, there, there's your highlighter because what was life before okay let me brush this hair just let's just hide this yo the macaro keys i got some poor i got some poor la macaro keys it's not me it's my edges it's my daddy it's my mom it's my jeans it's my a <laughs> this is the hair that i'll be wearing today it is from icy hair and they have sponsored this portion of the video it is a brazilian water wave 4x4 lace closure it is 180 percent density and it is a 13 by 4 by 1. it has a teapot so it's a teapot water wave right here as you can see and uh, yeah you can actually purchase it on the website all the details are down in the description box all i've done is literally add water to it my head is actually smaller than what i always think it is should have gone with an extra small so that's why it's got this little bulgy portion here because i had to really uh pull the strap a little closer well the closest that it could get um and obviously i've worn the wig i've worn it a few times i'll put a picture here of when i slayed this wig in daytime election so i've been wearing it more often which is why i actually decided to film this video because i want to put you on they do have the summer sale at the moment it does end in about two or three days so definitely check it out click on the link in bio they have really affordable wigs at a really good quality as well so check them out don't say i didn't tell you let's see how this turns out honey boo boo please make me look good oh i'm gonna film tiktoks actually let me make use of this wig hey let me not cut my forehead like that look i don't in as much as deny your forehead and cool, let's not lie to people. Guys, <laughs> it is I think I'll land one side, even this. But there's also no way I'm not gonna go to gym. <laughs> let's be real. Because your girl been seeing results, so I'm going back to gym. Tandy, tandy. It's all good. Oh, there we go. Honey boo boo. Transform. I just try. <laughs> 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 so gee, imagine don't So whoever was dissing my look earlier, <laughs> what you gotta say now? Okay, there we go. That is it, honeys. Jalonje. I'm not even gonna touch up too much because this wig is looking good already. I hope you guys did enjoy this little get ready with me. Don't forget to check out Icy Hair for the sale that they've got. Mm, this hair is good. I didn't have to do much. In fact, I didn't end up using this mousse at all. This is just water, honey. I love you guys so so much, and of course, do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.